Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. You might know her as Barbie or maybe from wearing every shade of pink. But who is Margot Robbie? How did she get her start? And why did she slap Leonardo DiCaprio? Robbie was born in July 1990 in Dalby, Queensland, Australia, and grew up on her grandparents' farm on the Gold Coast. Her parents divorced when she was quite young, and while she doesn't talk about her estrangement from her father, she said that her mom's work ethic as a single parent shaped her adult character. Being the third of four children, Robbie said that growing up in a loud, busy house is what made her so comfortable with the chaos of movie sets. Even now, she says she doesn't like to be alone and would rather hang out with the crew on set than be in her trailer. As a kid, Robbie thought she would be a magician and has described herself as a huge Harry Potter nerd. She even went so far as to lie to an optometrist to get glasses once. She's a Hufflepuff, by the way. Instead of magic, at age 17, she flew to Melbourne to pursue a career in acting and worked at Subway to support herself. Following an agent's advice, Robbie started cold calling casting agents for work, which is how she got her start on the Australian soap opera, Neighbors. Robbie stayed on the soap for two years and was nominated for two Logies, Australia's annual television awards. But even when she wasn't working, she was thinking ahead, taking acting classes and working regularly with a dialogue coach to learn an American accent. In 2011, despite being offered another contract with Neighbors, she took a leap of faith and flew to Hollywood just in time for pilot season. There, she landed a few roles, and her most notable was as Lauren Cameron on the series Pan Am, though the show was canceled after one season. However, that same month, Robbie received a script that would change her life, The Wolf of Wall Street. Robbie has said that she thought she blew the audition. First, she was stopped by the casting director who told her to turn around and buy a new outfit before auditioning. Then, when Leonardo DiCaprio started improvising lines, Robbie said she got lost in the moment and instead of walking away at the end of the scene, slapped him across the face yelling, F you. I thought I was gonna get arrested. <laughs> her ballsy move paid off and she got the highly coveted role. Though she later admitted that she knocked back a few shots of tequila for onset liquid courage before some of the film's steamy scenes. Even without tequila, Robbie is known to be fearless on and off set. She did many of her own stunts as Harley Quinn in Birds of Prey, tattooed some of her Suicide Squad co-stars, and challenged a friend to a spaghetti bolognese eating contest. She also spends her spare time surfing and playing hockey. It's something her co-stars from her many, many hits have pointed out about her several times before. While she's best known for her acting, Robbie's also proven her chops as a producer. She and three of her closest friends, including her now husband, founded the company Lucky Chap Entertainment. Their first release, the three-time Oscar-nominated film, I, Tanya. The company focuses mainly on female stories, having produced Birds of Prey, Promising Young Woman, Saltburn, and of course, Barbie. Despite the many successes of Lucky Chap, Robbie has said it's still hard to be taken seriously as a working producer. Her production partners often have to remind people to include her in conversations about finances. But true to form, she's diving into the challenge full force, especially after the success of Barbie. And while she takes a break from acting, I mean, can you blame her after all those press tours? She's using her influence to create films from behind the camera.